Hi, welcome to Todd's Tips. I'm Todd Barsness of Full-Time VoiceOver Talent, and Todd's Tips is a feature of VO Marketing Pro. Now, if you'd like more information about VO Marketing Pro or anything else related to VoiceOver, just visit our Facebook page, website, or contact us via email. The links are located here. So, Todd's Tips, we always have our audio video producer demand. Make sure that we send these caveats your way so that we put an asterisk on what we say here. We are not trying to force you or uh, cause you to feel guilty if you don't do things exactly the way I do things. I think there's a lots of ways to be successful in business. Um, there are some things that are similar. There are some things that are across the board if you're gonna be successful in business. A lot of it's mindset, and we need to do more talking about mindset uh, as far as business mindset and just, just overall mindset. But those caveat, the caveats will just uh, help you to see that this is where I'm coming from. Those caveats kind of tell a little bit about my story. And uh, maybe it doesn't match with where you're at. Maybe you're part-time. Maybe you're just doing voiceover for the fun of it, for mm -hmm. a, as a hobby. Great, good, happy for you. Uh, maybe you decided to do business differently than I do, and that's fine too. All, you know, good luck to you. Um, but I try to, uh, without charging anybody anything, because I've never gotten a dime for coaching, I try to provide some thoughts for you to just stop and think. Don't get emotional. Don't reject it out of hand, but just do some thinking about it and uh, maybe put it up against some of the other coaches that are out there. I think that would be a good idea. I think there needs to be some thoughts in the other direction uh, from kind of the prevailing wind oftentimes of a lot of voiceover coaches. So today I'm going to continue to uh, maybe put my foot in my mouth and get myself into trouble, but here's my don't. I don't moralize my VO business principles. In other words, I don't say it's a sin for you to not do it like me, or it's a moral issue, you're wrong, you're selfish, you're killing the industry, whatever. I'm busy, <laughs> really busy. When I'm not running my large VO business or helping Hudson run his business or helping my sons run VO Marketing Pro uh, or preparing creatively for our family podcast, the original father son voiceover podcast. I'm hanging out with my wife and kids and playing sports and studying and lots of other things. Hanging out with Roy. You bet. Yeah. Roy, our puppy. <laughs> I have a very busy life. That said, I do try to stay up on what a lot of VO coaches are saying. I try to listen to some podcasts um, just to learn and to kind of hear what people are saying and to see if I can learn something or if I agree or disagree or what I would say differently. I like to watch podcasts and listen to other VO talent and coaches explain their ideas and give their opinions. It's interesting stuff and there's lots to learn. That said, in my opinion, my humble opinion, it's a real turnoff when people start moralizing their views and opinions, acting as if they have the moral high ground and speak for the VO gods as a prophet and priest. This is especially true when they moralize about rates. We've been talking about rates the last few weeks. Rates seem to be kind of one where people get on their soapbox, their high horse, I would say. <laughs> and uh, some people don't say it's a sin, but they use words and terms and phrases that would make you think that it's a sin to, for instance, work on Fiverr. I know one gentleman who coaches talks about, well, if you're just in it for a hobby or just to have fun, go ahead and work on Fiverr. Well, I think, wait now. <laughs> then he compares that to a professional person that wouldn't use Fiverr. Well, this last year, I made almost $100,000 on Fiverr. And I'm cl getting that's close. A, that's a fun hobby. I'm getting close to a million dollars on Fiverr. And so I think, I don't, I don't think that makes me a hobbyist. I think that's a business. So anyway, it's a sin to work on Fiverr or Upwork or negotiate the rates below union rates, SAG-AFTRA or GVAA or Gravy for the Brain. We're selfishly ruining the VO industry for everyone and we get reprimanded and degraded for doing so. All the while, those same ones line their pockets 
helping VO talent get training and buy their videos and courses and their demos and such like that for a pretty high price. I'm not saying that many of these VO moralists aren't worth listening to, and to reject what they say without stopping and carefully thinking is to react emotionally and stupidly. I don't agree with a lot of the things they say, but there's oftentimes a nugget of truth in there or something that they've learned, or maybe they're making quite a bit of money, and I just wanna listen to what they have to say without rejecting out of hand everything that they say. That said, I say this to them, who died and left them the bosses? Since when do they know everything about economies and business? And if they're so good at what they do, why do they care about people who work for lower rates? That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense to me. Personally, I don't bother myself too much with people that make less than me. If somebody makes more than me or is really going up fast, like you are, you're making more and more money each week yeah. and month. Mm. And I want to know what is that person doing to be successful? And I, as I've gone on record saying that I think success isn't measured in only making money, but that's a pretty important thing if you're in business. How much money do you make? Can you stay in business? Are you growing your business? Are you competitive? Those types of things. And so I don't um, moralize my business principles. I try very hard not to say, you have to do it this way, otherwise you're wrong. You have to do it this way, otherwise you're being selfish. You have to do it this way, otherwise you're hurting the VO industry. You have to pay me for my services or else you're not doing yeah, what's right, right. Right. And that's kind of what it comes down to, mm -hmm. it seems like, sometimes. So anyway, uh, again, I'm not trying to cause I'm really not. I'm not trying to cause controversy. I just watch and listen. And, and as a 13-year veteran and a guy that's 62 going on 63, and I wasn't born last night, um, I, I watch people and I go, hmm, all the things that you're saying, maybe some of it's true, but what do you get out of it? <laughs> That's what I want to know. What do you get out of it? And that might be my next topic. I have a, I have one What's that I've motivation? written. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to, I want to, I want to talk about, you know, trust. And uh, I talk a lot about rates late, lately, and and I do talk a lot about trusting VO coaches. And uh, so I want to continue to do that because I think it's important, and it's important for me while I'm not coaching, while I'm not getting paid to coach, to be able to say something that I think is more objective. And uh, I'm not gaining anything mm. by doing it. Yeah. So anyway, you don't have to trust me. I won't lose any sleep if you don't trust me. <laughs> I just ask you to just be calm, stop, and do a little thinking about these things. Thanks a lot for joining me for Todd's Tips. And if you'd like more information about VO Marketing Pro or anything else related to VO, the links are listed here.